All right, meteorologist Chris Swaim joining us now. We've had a great week. There have been no complaints. Yeah. This fair starts off tomorrow. We might need to be a little cautious. Keep the umbrella nearby. Okay. I don't think any one day is a washout, but okay. you, you know, we have the potential for some storms and showers, heavy downpour, a uh, gust of wind and a flash of lightning. Um, I may go a little long on this weather forecast. I've got a lot to talk about, and it's definitely not because I don't want to hear about that hot dog straw. But that's coming up, right? I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it in time. Let me take you outside of Dundalk. Here's a live look. Uh, things have been pretty quiet this week. We had sunshine early. Temperatures started off warm. You remember Monday was in the 90s? It feels like a lifetime ago. It's been much cooler past couple of days, but we will bring that heat back as we get toward the end of the week. Let me go region wide here. Here's Baltimore for reference. Uh, there's the state of Maryland and then these line of storms and showers. Look at the direction though, kind of pushing away from us. We'll get clipped by some of that moisture, but uh, most of it has been well without a reach. I think we'll get some storms and showers overnight. Let me time that here. Here's now and as we go into Thursday morning, you see that activity just west of us. So parts of the area could see a little bit of rain out of this. The farther west you are, the better chance for a little bit of rain here. We'll get a break in between around midday, probably walking out the door right around here, 6, 7, 8 a.m. A dry start for some, but I grabbed that rain gear because watch what happens throughout the day. We'll get some spotty showers in place. It's more for the evening hours that storms and showers work their way in. So especially if you're out late or uh, have something going on in the evening hours on Thursday, a better shot at some widespread rain there. I'll say up front too, there's a lot of disagreement on how this system plays out. Forecast models haven't been doing great with it, but we have the energy in place for these storms to form. A flash of lightning, a rumble of thunder, maybe a gusty wind or two as that carries overnight Thursday into Friday morning. Another round of rain there. We're in the warm sector of this system. See the winds out of the south? We're talking temperatures in the low 90s. So for those keeping track at home, it was a 90 degree start to the week, and it looks like we'll end it that way too. Some leftover storms and showers Friday evening, but look at the wind direction change. A sign a new air mass is moving in, and we'll pick that up here on our uh, region-wide look, too. Much cooler heading into uh, part of the weekend. We'll hold off on the real big shot of cooler air by Sunday, but temperatures here in the short term from the mid-80s to the low 90s to near 90 back to the mid-80s. So it's a quick jump and a taste of summer there. Reminder, we're not done yet. But uh, the overall pattern to wrap up August and bring in September, which is right around the corner, a little over a week away, uh, does look to land in the low 80s for highs. Another round of showers Tuesday and Wednesday.